Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Welcome to the Share Talk CEO interview. I'm delighted to be joined by David Archer, as CEO at Savannah Resources. How are you today, David? Very well indeed, thanks, Zach. Okay, we haven't spoken for quite a while. Uh, the last time I left it, uh, you were flying over the Amani Desert. Uh, presumably, you've done more things than that since. Yes, been sort of uh, doing a little bit of uh, travel, a little bit more sort of European focused because of our uh, lithium project in, in Portugal. Right. Okay, so you're, you're sort of firing on various fronts. Uh, what's the priority at the moment? Um, the, the, the clear priority um, front and centre is um, our Mina de Brosso lithium project in Portugal, where we uh, released our, our scoping study today, and uh, it really outlined a, a very robust, very appealing uh, project with some um, numbers that I think President Trump would uh, call beautiful numbers. Okay, and uh, I mean, in terms of the scale of this project, could you give that, give us some perspective on that? Well, in terms of the resource, uh, at 14.1 million tonnes, it's actually uh, Western Europe's largest uh, resource of spodumene lithium. Uh, we hope to increase that um, in coming uh, coming months and years. But uh, what we've uh, scoped out with the scoping study um, is a potential mine development uh, which would um, operate at... Uh, a run of mine rate, in other words, um, how much we mine, physically mine of about 1.3 million tonnes uh, per annum, have a mine life of about 11 years, and will produce about 175,000 tonnes of spodumene concentrate uh, per annum, and um, would sort of uh, has all of the credentials that suggest it will be uh, the first major um, lithium mine in um, in Western Europe. So it's you know, particularly exciting, and you know, particularly because of the the very strong uh, demand dynamics around lithium at the moment, with uh, the fast growing uh, electric vehicle market and industrial scale storage of uh, electricity using batteries to complement um, uh, renew uh, re renewables uh, generation. So, I mean, just on a broader view, I mean, how much can lithium t uh, take the strain in terms of uh, being, you know, uh, the the alternative to fossil fuels and also, as you said, a backup to uh, conventional um, energy um, uses? Well, I think there's some tectonic shifts that are you know, pretty obvious that are going on at the moment, uh, both uh, on a global basis, of course, with the um, the uh, Paris uh, Paris Accords. Um, and I think on, a, on, on national bases as well, we're seeing uh, limitations on uh, the use of uh, internal combustion engines in cities such as uh, Paris and here in London, of course. So I think all of those influences will uh, go to uh, sort of increase uh, the demand for e electric vehicles and, of course, uh, the demand for lithium, uh, which is the material that will actually, uh, will actually power them. I think the major challenge really will be for the mining industry to, uh, to be able to sort of step up uh, to produce the required volumes of lithium in the time, sc time scales that are required. And uh, I think that's one of the you know, very significant advantages of the Mina de Brosso project. You know, we've clearly uh, got it very much on a fast track. We've got a granted mining lease and um, we're targeting uh, early uh, production um, early in 2020. So we're setting a, a blistering pace and um, you know, we're charging ahead with, uh, uh, with great confidence. Speaking of blistering paces, um, the share price uh, seems to have uh, responded well to the, the lithium uh, activities of your company, whereas before, I think when we were just we were on the copper side of, in, in, in Amman, etc., um, things were rather more, uh, let's say, uh, um, flat. Um, is this the game changer for your company? Are you still are you still focused? Are we still looking at um, developing your other resources around the world? Well, we've deliberately um, we've deliberately uh, put together a very sort of solid portfolio of uh, projects, both in uh, copper and mineral sands. Uh, the mineral sands project is um, a, a world class uh, mineral sands deposit in, in joint venture with uh, the global major uh, Rio Tinto, and the copper deposits in Oman are high grade, albeit uh, small. Um, but I think for the for the time being, um, you know, we're uh, really looking to sort of showcase 
um, what we also have in, in Portugal. And I suppose what we're really also trying to do is um, really uh, um, broaden uh, the market's understanding of the uh, potential for, for lithium in, in Europe. And on the, uh, on the uh, London Stock Exchange, there haven't been that many uh, opportunities to invest uh, directly in lithium. And um, so I think that sort of understanding and excitement is now building and sort of clearly um, the, uh, the equity capital markets here in London um, have uh, particularly warmed to our story over the last, uh, last few weeks. And uh, we now um, enjoy a, a very sort of solid market capitalisation and uh, uh, very well traded. Well, presumably your funding needs are uh, currently... Uh uh, have been met and you've got your partner, you know, you mentioned Rio, etc. Um, is, is, that, is that one of the big headaches out of the way? Um, yeah, we, like, uh, like all uh, developing uh, mining groups, you know, we all have uh, capital requirements um, uh, in the period up to um, sort of going into, going into production. Um, we believe that um, a project like uh, Mina de Barroso uh, will see very strong funding interest, uh, both from potential uh, strategic partners. Uh, we're looking to layer in a um, offtake agreement uh, as well. And um, yeah, we've sort of seen a very sort of strong uh, funding interest in in other uh, lithium projects internationally. Uh, Namaska uh, in Canada, uh, for example, uh, secured uh, many many hundreds of uh, US dollar millions of um, financing in in recent weeks. So it really does sort of show that the the debt and equity capital markets um, are, are, are very keen to get behind um, well credentialed. Uh, lithium mine development. So there's a bit of a gold rush in lithium at the moment, so to speak. Um, y yes, um, although, you know, like all mining projects, um, they're all hard. Um, even, even the best projects are tough, maybe a little bit less tough, um, but um, it requires hard work, dedication, and um, I'm pleased to say we've got a very able team um, who, who is uh, uh, well positioned to sort of deal with all the slings and arrows and uh, challenges that uh, uh, face us all. Right, I mean, without wishing to flatter you un unnecessarily, it seems that the turnaround uh, in terms of your lithium project was rather quicker than the standalone companies on the market, which are only lithium-based. So uh, I, th I think literally the last time I spoke to you or interviewed you, um, you had it was you know, the lithium project was a dot on the horizon and it's already um, seems to be get, you know gaining critical mass so uh, um, you, you you seem to have turned that around rather quickly but uh, in terms of what's going to happen next um, what are we looking at for the for the rest of the year um, it should be a pretty an active agenda um, sort of clearly um, I think uh, as a result of the, the scoping study uh, that naturally leads into uh, a full feasibility study and we'll be looking at reviewing um, various sort of proposals uh, by uh, engineering consultants uh, to undertake that study on our on our behalf of course we've got to continue with a very active drilling program on site um, at the moment um, and uh, we on the back of that we anticipate having uh, further resource upgrades uh, during the balance of the year and uh, going into uh, going into 2019 um, and of course um, there's certainly the potential for um, alignments to be announced with potential strategic partners and off takers so I'd rather hope and we're certainly working towards um, having um, a whole series of uh, milestones uh, between now and the, the end of the year being achieved. Finally, obviously, you've got your hands full at the moment. Are you still looking for other projects? Um, I think we're sort of pretty, um, pretty sort of tapped out at the moment. Um, so I think we're um, pretty, pretty happy um, with the, the current sort of portfolio um, as it stands, and uh, we'll certainly just be sort of concentrating on um, continuing to add value with the existing portfolio. David Archer, CEO at Savannah Resources. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, Zach. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.